But if a person was walking on the street, and whilst he was walking on the street, he looked down and he found an iPhone 13, or a small amount of gold, or he found a computer on the street, or he found a watch, spectacles, Number a pen. One. So these types of items, in that, this type of scenario, this is what we call luqada. This is what the Sharia considers to be a lost item, meaning it's not as if the owner has placed the item randomly on the street without, or, or, or without a reasoning. Rather, most likely it's a lost item. So as I was walking and on the street I found this phone. Now, it's, it's not permitted for me to touch the phone. It's not permitted for me to lift the phone without me thinking first. I have to first think that if I take this phone, will I be able to publicize or to announce it to the people for a whole year that there is a lost phone in my possession which somebody owns for a whole year. If I am able to do so, then it is so. However, if I am not able to do so, then I leave it or I inform the police, the authorities. So the ruling is, when it comes to lost property or lost items, that it's not allowed for a person to take it into his possession and unless he knows that he's able to announce or advertise this lost item in that locality for a whole hijri year. And this ruling which we mentioned, this applies to those items which have a value with the people. But there are other items which don't really have a value with the people. For example, if you found this pen on the street, it's not like the owner is going to be searching for this pen for a whole year because it has little value. Perhaps he'll search for it for a couple of minutes and then he will leave it.